I am a poet, one that just happens to write in a forest. My forest is the Rainbow Forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. When I enter this forest or any other collection of trees, I never know what I'm going to write about. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Rainbow Forest. Chapter number 382, August 20th, 2023. And I want to pause there for a moment because where I presently stand is on August 8th, 2024, almost a year later. So what is shared on this page from a year ago? I'm living it out right now inside this forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. Hurricane Debbie is now a tropical storm and my forest is under attack at this moment. So I guess a year from now, we'll be talking about this storm and the effects that it's had, the flooding, the trees coming down and the major loss that's out there. But August 20th, 2023. Last week, it was the fires in Hawaii. This week, a rare hurricane is set to attack Southern California. All that is natural. Are these storms of destruction due to the carelessness of man, or is it part of the planet taking care of itself? Hey, three years ago, the pandemic blasted through human services, proving that, hey, you're not as strong as you think you know. The fires in Hawaii, Hurricane Hillary in California. All that's natural is taking what we've built And it's tossing it around like it doesn't care and it doesn't have the room for our egos and politics. I do fear from my own forest here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. Beyond my control, all that is natural could turn this blessed lay of land upside down and inside out. Which is why I'm being called to share the story of this tiny little dot on the map in a podcast called Forest Stories. All in the name of not what if, but when all that is natural is taken away. I can't believe that it was a year ago that I started that podcast, Forest Stories. I knew that it was something like 40-some episodes deep, but I didn't realize we were this far into the journey. And what's shocking is that when this idea hit me almost a year ago, I thought, okay, maybe seven or eight stories from this forest. But a year later, here we are. Not only were they having the wildfires in Hawaii and the hurricane in California, but today... We're going through Tropical Storm Debbie. Writing the story. It's so important. Where you are, your tiny dot on the map, it still has an amazing presence. Not just here, but up there and out there. If we lose our technique of sharing stories, then the generations themselves will be missing out on something that is so valuable. I don't have letters from my grandparents, not even my own parents, which is every bit the reason why I became a daily writer, so that someone, not just my family, someone will have something to read up there and out there. What we experience is to teach us something. And if you think that we're not teaching the future before it gets here, you got to think differently. Because in everything that we're doing right now, those messages of survival came from somebody behind us. I'm Arrow. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Rainbow Forest.